It was the Super Bowl of the 1600s. I didn't know, maybe you didn't need Welcome to Mr. Dottie's Neighborhood. I'm your host, B Dot, and today we're at the Magnolia House. Let's go take a look around at some of the rooms they got in here. What's really good, man? B Dot here, and we are at the Magnolia House. This is the kind of blue room. On today's episode of I Didn't Know, maybe you didn't either. Have you ever heard the term buck breaking? Buck breaking was a term that white slave masters used. It was a punishment for defiant slaves. And by defiant, we mean slaves that wanted their freedom. What would happen is the slave master would call over the rebellious enslaved individual, bend him over, rip his pants down, and rape him. He would call over other white slave masters from other plantations so that they too could enjoy in the emasculation of the enslaved individual. But he wouldn't stop there, no. He would invite the family members and the friends of the enslaved individual. He would get members of the other plantations to come over and would. It was the Super Bowl of the 1600s. During that time, there were no underwear. So the victims of the buck breaking were forced to sag their pants, buttock showing, which was a clear sign to any slave master visiting that that slave theirs had a buck breaking. Many of the victims of the buck breaking committed suicide or just ran away from their families in humiliation. You want to pull your pants up now? Because I didn't know. Maybe you didn't either. 